If you want to make your data more visually appearing by turning it into a people graph like this, or if you want your data to be represented on a map like this, then keep on watching. We're going to start with the Excel people graph. To get started, we need an add-in. So I go to insert and then get add-in. Search for people graph. And this is the one we want here. Transfer cold data into a cool picture. We click add, click continue. Give it a few seconds to load. Let's move this over here. It starts off with some sample data. To use your own, just click on the chart, then click this table. Put in your title, click select your data. And as it says here, you can only select two columns from your Excel spreadsheet. The two columns need to be next to each other like this. You can't use the control key to select two columns. So the two columns must be next to each other. Once you've selected the columns, click create, and there's your people graph. To make changes to the look and shapes, click here. You can choose the type. You've got a choice of themes, which are basically different colors. And if you go to shape, you can change your shape. Perhaps you want to have stars, even dolphins. For this example, I'm going to go for this one. More options can be found here. We're now going to look at connecting our data to a map. To create a map like this, we need another add-in. So under insert, we go to get add-ins. And this time we're going to search for Bing map. And it's this one here at the top that we need. So I go to add, click continue, and give it a few seconds to load. I'm going to move this down over here. To get started with this one, all you need to do is select the data that you want to include in the map. So for this example, I'm going to select all of these columns. And then to update the map, I just click here. This is a great way to show where the locations are on the map and you've also got these little pie charts to represent the data. Now this map won't update automatically if you update your data or add any new rows. So in this example I'm going to add a new location. So to update the map select your data again and then click here and here we have Liverpool added to the map. Some other options to look at if I click here on the gear cog. So here you've got various options to change the appearance of your map. Another option you've got here is the filter. So if you only want it to present the northern offices, you could deselect the ones you don't want to show on the map. And then down here at the bottom, you've got apply. And that will update it. And now it's only showing the northern offices. In this next video, I'll show you the Excel shortcuts that everyone should know. How many of these do you know already?